String theory came to life in the 60s as an attempt to describe hadrons, which are particles that interact through the strong force. We now know that hadrons are made up of smaller components called quarks, but before the quark model, it was suggested that hadrons could be modeled by strings, with the vibrations of the string corresponding to the many different hadrons that had been observed. This theory had some successes, but string theory also predicted long-ranged forces, and this contradicted the fact that the strong force is actually short-ranged. In the 70s, theorists realized that these long-ranged forces could describe the electromagnetic force and gravity, and that string theory also naturally gives rise to the weak force. So string theory became a way to describe all the forces in one quantum theory. But there were still problems. The theory could only be consistent if the universe had 26 dimensions, and it predicted the existence of particles whose masses squared to negative numbers. So how did physicists deal with these problems? 